Hello beautiful soul, namaste. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the podcast A Coffee with the Angels. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the dark night of the soul and the second ray of wisdom. This was a message inspired by the angels. I have everything ready here, all the notes, all the channel messages that they were giving me, and I'm going to channel more as we go through this episode so make sure you're ready and let's start all right so welcome back beautiful so welcome back to my channel and to the podcast uh, my name is maria for those of you who don't know me if it's your first time here thank you for joining me today i hope you're ready uh, to share with me this wisdom of the angels, this moment where I'm actually sitting here. I was just checking with them what they wanted me to talk to you about today. And um, I have two amazing beings here. Um, as you know, I channel the angels, but I also, I've been channeling lately uh, many ascended masters, gods, goddesses, all these beautiful light beings that are always with the angels. They work together. And of course, they come through... Um, just hold it by the wings of the angels. But today they wanted me to talk to you about the dark night of the soul and also the second ray of wisdom. Um, I have my notes here, so don't don't mind. My, my cats are here, sorry. Uh, so don't bother if I keep looking at my notes and just talking to you. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this. First of all, I have two uh, helpers here. And they are Archangel Michael and uh, also Osiris. Osiris is an Egyptian god and he's here uh, to help us in this whole journey when it comes to understanding what is going on right now. So what they were telling me first is that we need to understand, let me get my pen, we need to understand that what what exactly is the dark night of the soul? I'm not going to get deep into this, but you need to understand that the dark night of the soul is a moment where uh, everyone goes through, either they understand it or not. Uh, but it's a moment where we, we get into, into a place of absence of meaning. What does it mean? It means that you get into very deep, kind of lonely place where you feel completely lost where you don't know anymore who you are uh where you get into you know into the bottom like you you don't know what to do you don't know how you feel it's that there's absence absence of meaning there are there is no meaning anymore you don't understand anything anymore you don't know what you want you don't know who you are you don't know the next step you don't you don't know you don't even understand your feelings and kind of that existential crisis that sometimes we go through um this is the dark night of the soul i personally from my own experience i've uh, you know a, a person actually goes through a dark night of the soul quite a few times throughout one lifetime i have been through a few um not easy very hard to get there very hard to get you know into a very deep state where you feel completely outside of this world that's that's how i can describe from my experience you feel completely empty and the dark night of the soul actually it's really hard to go through but it's part of growth everyone goes through this i'm sure you have experienced something like this before actually let me know if you have um but this actually brings us a very deep perception of life, you know, in your place in this life. You know, it brings to your awareness actually your truth, you know. At least for me, when I've been through this, it's like I have experienced this emptiness, but then the next upcoming month, we're all about healing, 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 understanding, having clarity, um, things coming to surface, changing the way you do things, changing the way you live your life, 
change in your beliefs, even changes in your career, in your work, changes in your identity. You just get more and more honest with yourself. You just get more and more connected with who you are. And why are they talking about this? Because if we look at the collective, this is happening very often now. Like there are many people going through the dark night of the soul. Planet Earth is kind of going through the dark night of the soul in itself. Gaia is going through a dark night of the soul because Gaia is also a living being. So, you know, as we are all part of this, we are all kind of experiencing this with everything that's been going on. And at an individual level and a collective level, in the end of the day, everyone is connected. So that's why we go through this. Everyone goes through this. There is no one on planet Earth that wouldn't experience this moment. And, and, and what the angels are bringing us to help us with this is the second ray of wisdom. The second ray is the ray where we connect love and wisdom, where we find that balance between our truth. And this is why it's so beautiful that, you know, the angels brought the second ray to help us go through, you know, as the key to go through these moments, to really have this openness to understand the truth underneath, underneath all the suffering, underneath everything that was so messed up within us. Feelings that were hidden so deeply, suddenly starting to surface. And this Second ray of wisdom is the ray that can actually help us, show us the light, show us how we can find that balance, how we can actually have that clarity that these moments are bringing us, that the, the purpose of these moments hold within. And in the second ray of wisdom is where we're going to find calmness, but also strength, because this is what we need to go through these hard, difficult moments of self-understanding, calmness and strength, empowerment, but also patience, uh, uh, love for the truth, seeking for the truth, having faith, having clear intelligence when it comes to, to what you want, to who you are, to your place in this lifetime. And, and getting into a more serene temper. Because what happens when you go through the dark night of the soul, to that moment, to that night actually, to that day, when you really hit rock bottom, when it happens there, is this, as I said, it's a complete absence of meaning. So you end up in a state where you get serene actually through the darkness. It's dark. You don't know what to do. You just breathe. There's nothing else to do. You just stay there. You just, you know, you just get into a place of, of, of blank, blend, silence, you know, because you just don't have, you don't have tools anymore to fight. But that moment, that place of calmness that you end up finding through this dark night of the soul through this dark moment that that emptiness is what actually brings the truth to the surface is what actually brings the wisdom the ray the the, the second ray actually happens through this moment and what happens there when when you are experiencing this is like when you're going through, you know, moments where you don't, you don't understand people. Also, people that are always very critical, judgmental, that are very um, cold, that are very indif indif indifferent, indif indifferent, is that how you say it? Um, you know, people that are very disconnected from others, they very often go through these moments as well. Because these moments try to resurface the truth, try to show them that we are here to experience compassion, that we are here to understand other people's limitations, 
other people's levels of awareness, other people's lives. So very often when we are in a state of disconnection with everything, we end up experiencing the dark night of the soul because we need to resurface. And, this and if you look at this, this is exactly what's happening on planet Earth right now. You know, everything involved in this planet, everything that lives here is going through this moment in order for everything to be reborn, to see the truth. And what is the truth? Love beyond all. Love towards one another, love towards nature, love towards everything, every living being, every every object, every everything. But it's not easy to get there. And we have to go through this periods for our own growth and for our own, own learning. And this is where actually Archangel Michael comes through, you know, because Archangel Michael, although he doesn't work with the second ray, Archangel Michael brings this empowerment. He brings this strength as well that we need when we're going through um, when we're going through the dark night of the soul, when we're going through these very tough moments. And Archangel Michael is bringing this to planet Earth as well. As I said, even though he's not part of the second ray, Archangel Michael still has many qualities that are that are part of the second ray. You know, and anyways, the rays are just there for us to understand, but the angels, they work with, you know, they have many different qualities. But not talking about that, we're talking about Archangel Michael and how he's actually helping us to go through this surfacing of feelings of pain, you know, and, and he's here to actually empower you. He's here to actually tell you it's going to be okay to actually help you feel trustful and, and faithful through this and understand that it's part of the journey. It's part of life. So simply, you know, if you are in that place right now, simply stay still and see the wisdom coming to to surface, you know, getting stronger within you because your wisdom, your inner voice will always tell you what's the truth underneath this emptiness, the real you, what you're really here for, what you're really looking for. So Archangel Michael is really, is really supporting us and the planet right now when it comes to having enough power and enough strength and even enough wisdom and understanding of the truth to go through the darkness knowing that there is light in there understanding that even it's even though it's dark there is no light without the darkness so even though you don't see it the light is still there it's still part of it it's still one with it so he wants you to understand this he wants us to have this understanding that we can do it we can make it it's gonna be okay as long as we choose to go through this in this state of calmness and inner peace of really being open to the learning being open to really see the truth because we some people live their whole lives hiding from the truth denying the truth denying their true identity their true beliefs their true um desires and these dark moments need to happen in order for people to actually get in that state of you know pure blank pure bland energy you know nothing happens you don't know anymore what to do and then and then it starts to resurface. And then the truth starts to take over. It's a beautiful, actually, healing process. And I, what I love about all of this is that we have Osiris, right? Coming through with, with Archangel Michael. And Osiris is this Egyptian god that um, brings up fertility. He brings up resurrection. He brings up 
the transformation through the truth. How how perfect is this actually? You know, going beyond death because the dark night of the soul it's kind of like like i said it's kind of being reborn it's kind of going through a moment of inner death a moment of where you're dying to simply resurface and be reborn as the real you without the heaviness without the pain without the the struggles you know without the lies that we keep telling us so Osiris is very compassionate. He really empowers us to to understand that we are not here to serve, to to suffer. He he doesn't want us to suffer. He him and Archangel Michael are together in this, helping us get through this, helping us see this in a different perspective, see the difficult times with true eyes, with wisdom, not with complaining and and you know and and going crazy and blaming everyone and blaming everything and politics and other people but not actually looking at yourself if you're suffering you need to look at that you need to understand what's that showing you and what is the truth underneath it and we can only experience this when we actually go into this state where it's just really hard to have clarity in that state where we just um we don't know what else to do and in these moments we we understand so basically this is a message that is coming through from these wonderful beings to tell us to hang in there this is what they're saying you now Hanging there, Michael is smiling, he's so sweet. Hanging there, hold the light. Even though you don't see it, just hold it. It's there. You are it. You know, you are it. Hold the light. He keeps showing me this. Hold the light. Even if you cannot see it, hold it. Because you are it. You are the light. And you will only see the light when you are in the darkness. Otherwise, you can't see it. You cannot see the real you. You cannot see the wonderful being, the beautiful virtues you hold within your truth if you're not in the darkness. You know, that, that's why, that's interesting, he's saying this now. That's why we don't turn on the lights at home during the day, right? When it's sunny, we don't turn on the lights. Why? Because there, it doesn't make any difference. It's the same. You're actually wasting electricity, right? <laughs> but why do we turn on the lights at night? Because we need it. Because we cannot see it. We cannot see things in the darkness. But this is what he's saying. If you are in the darkness, remember to turn on the light. Remember to hold it. Remember to see it. Remember that you are it. And even though the feelings hurt, this is what they're saying now, even though the feelings hurt, even though it's painful to look at yourself, to look at the darkness you hold within you, because we all have it, there's no way to run away from it. There is beauty in the darkness. That's when you really see the truth, when you really see the light, when you understand the meaning of light, the meaning of life, the meaning of yourself. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Anyways, my lovelies, I hope this resonates and I hope this touched your heart somehow, bringing you light, bringing you understanding about yourself and what's happening right now for all of us because everyone is going through this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or make sure you follow me if you're listening to this podcast in other uh, podcast platforms you can always join the beautiful souls tribe as well so we can talk we can keep the connection uh, every day i'm there talking to everyone so make sure you join it's free the link will be in the description somewhere thank you thank you thank you for being here take good care of yourself beautiful soul and remember that you are light you are it just look at it you will see it 
I promise you. <laughs> so I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you for sharing this moment with me again and walking on this journey of learning, growing, expanding through love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shanti, shanti, shanti. And namaste.